So I woke up to a nice surprise this morning. Walked into the garage, which we're about to do, and I look down, I see, what, what is what is all this liquid on the floor? I get punched in the nose holes with the smell of <laughs> gasoline. That's a lot of gasoline. I immediately point my fingers at this uh, here Skidoo MXZ583. Yeah, right there. Not good, not good. This little T intersection right here. If I put my finger in there, look at that. Drip of gasoline. So right here, in this intersection, you see the bubble, the air bubble right there? Right here, we have a crack in our line or the crack in the uh, T. Probably why we haven't been able to get this thing to start. And I'm getting lightheaded already just standing here. I'm gonna order all new lines and we're gonna have to slap those on there. Honestly, man, I think I'm gonna pass out. It's time to replace some lines and some grommets and some clips and some things. We're replacing this line right here. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to get this, uh, I don't even know what size this is, but it's a much thicker line than what we have and then what I just barely got. I uh, will be replacing that. I'm thinking it's this T that is the problem. I think it's cracked or something. It's hard to, to tell without tearing it apart, but I think I feel a little crack in there. Let's just break into it and see where we can find the uh, issue. Oh, she's welded right on there. There we go. I only ordered this fuel line, but they sent me a smaller one, which looks exactly like the line that goes to the primer. So might as well replace that while we're at it. Hey, look at the flare on that. Definitely never been replaced. This is like really, really stiff and I feel like I could crack it just twisting it. Yep, I can. Look at that, stays in shape too. That's not what you want. Thankfully, we got brand new line. Ooh, that's gonna be tight. Get on there, I might have to heat this up. I don't wanna do it inside the garage because it's not very good to have a uh, open flame in a gasoline filled garage. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take my old line, measure out how much we need. Nice. All right, so we got our new tank line and now I gotta get that T off of there. That line looks okay. This line looks good. That line looks good. Even the T looks good. I'm gonna replace it anyway, but it makes me wonder what's actually going on. If anybody needs the part number for this, it's right there. Brand new T. Definitely cost more than it should have, but anyway. Yeah, tilt my line so that it points down when it gets into the tank. So it's supposed to fit like this. Put the T in right about here at an angle so we can get our primer line on. I'm not seeing any cracks on this line. It looks actually quite healthy. I don't know, man. I guess my mind is all over the place because I'm just, just not doing this in order. Been a long night. Been huffing a lot of fumes. <laughs> I bought the grommet that I showed you, which is supposed to replace this uh, nice plug of JB Weld that me and Mike did. And honestly, any chance I get to use a hammer, I do it. Okay. There's our old nasty grommet. Okay, so just like that. That's how that works. So I just finished replacing the lines that go to from the primer to each carb. All the other lines I checked look good, so hopefully this fixes our issue. Okay, just to give a rundown of everything that we just did, I replaced the T that's in between these uh, two lines right here. This is the main fuel line. I replaced the two primer lines, one that goes up to the primer and the other one that shoots down to the carburetors. We replaced the line that goes in the tank. We replaced the grommet that goes into the end of the tank. Slap this on. I think we are just about ready to try to fire this thing up. Oh yeah, right. Would you look at that? I'm out of gas. I don't want to put too much gas in there because it could end up on the floor again. And because I arced that fuel line, it's actually getting to the very bottom of the tank, which is good. So that should be enough. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting some fuel coming through. All right, we got fuel in the line. Nothing's leaking so far. This is gonna be amazing when this finally starts. Whew. No! Okay, so I think I need to adjust the carbs, but I think that was run, that was definitely running on more than just a power shot, so more than just a primer, I mean. So I think we're on to something. I don't see any leaks, that's good. That's real good. I'm thinking uh, there still could be a possibility that the fuel pump 
is bad the new one we got something i just noticed while i was kind of messing around with things off camera you probably heard i could keep it running at like uh, three four thousand rpms it looks like it's sucking fuel from the primer line constantly as i'm revving it up which should not happen i don't think that should be happening i'm wondering if i actually have a bad primer something's going on with this where it's sucking fuel and just running actually running off the primer without me pumping it. That's what I'm thinking. So unfortunately, I was messing around with it off camera and we have some bad news now. The primer T that goes to each of the carbs from the uh, main fuel line here snapped off on me. You see how there's only half of what it should be? Actually, I said screw it. And we are super gluing this T back together in its original position because I did not want to wait five to seven business days. It's not like this is a high stress area we're gonna be just moving the lines around and whatever, so that should do it. I am curious to take this primer apart. I've never taken one apart before, never had one fail on me. But reading online, people are saying that they do fail and it absolutely should not be sucking fuel from the primer to the carburetors. And now we got it. Man. He does not want to come off there. Maybe I'll just go buy a new one and we can rule that out. Welcome back to day seven of trying to fix the uh, Skidoo 583 MXZ. One of these packages I just got in the mail holds my new primer. Another one holds my fuel pump rebuild because I wanted to rebuild the old one. I'm afraid the Chinese one I got is not working correctly, but we might as well do the primer first, see if that fixes our issue, and then we know the fuel pump is good. That feels like a rebuild kit. This could be the one. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Yeah. There she is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some lubrication in there. That's the boy. And here's exactly where we left off the other day. Before I got my parts in, here's the old primer. Last time I was on camera, we replaced all the fuel lines and we noticed there was an air pocket forming from one of these lines coming from the primer. And also when I first primed this thing after it had been sitting for many, many years, it was a little strange, it was a little squeaky. So I, it didn't give me the feel goods for sure. And she's working, perfect. So I got everything hooked up. I got the primer on there. This clip probably should have been on the other side, but whatever, don't yell at me in the comments. I got my primer lines hooked up to the carburetors down there. It seems like this thing is working. Oh yeah. Oh, she's working good. I think it's another moment of truth right here. Jam this back in there so I don't get a concussion. One more pump. Ooh. Nope! What gives, man? What gives? Ah, I forgot I left my fuel pump, the original, on the wall of shame over here. So I'm gonna go rebuild this real quick because I have the rebuild kit and obviously things are still not good with this thing. So let's do it. New parts going in. Once again, I got a rebuild kit from Vertex. This is not sponsored by Vertex. All right. So we got little tiny things and plastic washers and gaskets and such. Okay, so you guys have seen this before. These are the new parts. This is the old crusty rusty, and uh, we're just going to be pretty much cleaning the whole thing, replacing the little rubber pieces, little plastic washers, gaskets and such, spraying it with carb cleaner, making sure it's perfectly clean. The biggest pain in this whole process is getting these old gaskets off. It's just melted right to our steel here. So it's a wicked pain. I always take a little razor and just kind of scrape, scrape, scrape. It's gonna take me probably half an hour just to get these gaskets off. Wow, rubber just came right off on that one. Ah, there we go. We got our shiny new rebuilt fuel pump now. Slap her on. We're finally ready for who knows how many times we've tried this, but let's see if we can actually get it started this time. Not super hopeful, but we'll see. A little bit of prime action. Okay, drop me down in the comments again what you think this thing could be. 
I've been through so much on this thing and still not running right. I don't get it. Something fuel related. It's got to be. It's got to be fuel related. I don't know. But drop me down in the comments what you think it is. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.